Lore friendly versions of the Range Rover have existed in GTA 5 ever since its release nearly 10 years ago. And whilst we have already been blessed with the Galavanta Baller Classic mod, which if you haven't seen, there'll be a link for that in the description to watch after this one, we've yet to have a lore friendly version of the iconic Land Rover Defender until today. Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> And there is not just one version of this. We have the two door, as you can see here. We have the four door, and we have a six by six version. So we have three different versions of this car to check out in this video. We've got a lot to look at. And also we're gonna tune each one up, do three builds. So let's just park up and have a look at the wonder that is the Galavanta Peacemaker. And so here we are with the three different Peacemakers of varying lengths. Here is the two door, here is the four door, and here is the six by six. And they just get longer and longer. I mean, just look at these. Look at the length of the roof on this thing. Absolutely ridiculous. Visually, they are pretty much the same thing each. They have the same characteristics. Basically, the only difference is, is they have different door and wheel configurations. But let's see if they have any different parts, shall we? So, on the front bumper, on this one right here, we have the stock. We have the ball bar, the ram bar, the ball bar number two, which actually I quite like how that looks, the ball bar number three, which makes it look a bit more Humvee American-esque, the ram plate, which is just this bit down here, and then we have the overseer bumper, if we want to make a, I think it's like, is it called overfinch? Or something like that, I think? This is like that version for this truck. Here's how I'm gonna do it. As this is the two-door model, I'm gonna make this one really cool and slammed. Then this four-door one, I'm gonna make as a cool off-roader. And then this one is the anomaly. And I don't know, we'll see what we do when we get there. So we could actually make this the overfinch one. So I'm gonna go for the overseer bumper. Then on the rear, we have the stock, the rear guard, and then we have the overseer bumper. It's basically the same as the stock, it just has these metal end caps, which look quite nice, really. On the grill, we have the stock, we have the custom, which basically makes the grill bit a bit larger. Then we have the vertical version, and then we have the overseer, which has a big, massive plastic section with some grill mesh and chrome bits. I'm not too sure on it, but I do want to see how this overseer thing looks together. So we'll go with that. Then on the hood, we have the overseer hood, which is basically going to change the badging and give us this vent right here. Then we have, okay, we have the stock. We have the overseer wide body kit, or we have the custom wide body fender flares. Ooh, I mean, I did say I was going to go for the overseer kit, so I guess we're going to go for that, which is basically just taking the original and extending it out. Whereas the custom body kit adds definitely a, a much different look to it. Maybe we'll use that on the second build. Let's use this one for now. We then also have the options of some utilitarian plating, which I don't think is really going to suit this particular build, so I'm going to skip on that one. Then on the roof, we have the roof rack, which looks very nice. We have the roof rack and light strip. We have the light bar. Then we have the pickup conversion. Oh, now that's cool. That's very cool. I like that. Or we have remove roof. Ooh, do you know what? I'm going to go for the pickup conversion on that. I think that's very cool. Definitely some weird... Oh, God, there is some weirdness going on here, actually. Definitely some modeling errors happened here. Well, I'm going to go for the pickup conversion, but then I'm going to go to Windows, and I'm going to tint the... Oh, my God, it tints the front. <laughs> You can't see a thing out of those windows. So I'm going to go for engine, brakes, transmission on this one. And what's the suspension like? It doesn't really change it at all, does it? Almost nothing. Well, we'll send it to competition anyway. So on the extras, we have the spare wheel at the back. And then the other two gets rid of these windows here. Not quite sure why we want to do that. But I don't think it suits this build kind of a bit weird that they have those there yeah not too sure what's going on with that and we also have the arch covers which is going to be the tail light guard on the back hmm i'm gonna go with no so i said i was gonna make this like a slammed racer because I, I was gonna go for like the full overseer thing 
This is kind of a weird build, actually. So, onto the wheels, and I did say I was going to slam this and do a, a crazy one, so I guess we need some crazy wheels. How's the snowy flake, then? Snowy flake in chrome? <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to change the way this looks. And then on paint... Oh, let's go for something crazy. Let's go for random RGB. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, that's a cool color. This actually looks kind of goofy. <laughs> It's such a, it looks like the sort of car that you used to draw when you were a child from the side. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is interesting. Actually, that blue is very nice. I'm going to go with this random blue. And I'm going to copy it to secondary. And it puts it on the roof as well. So let's get a V-start. So let's go to tires. And let's make these a bit smaller just so we can get this really slammed down. These are still going to be pretty big wheels, I imagine. So we'll get that height right down. <laughs> And right down here mechanically just because if we use visual lowering it's gonna really bring down all of the underneath stuff as well I'm gonna do some rear camber why not let's go silly on this first one and then we use some visual lowering just to get it down here there we go camber that in and then on the front we're gonna have to lift this up just slightly and give it some front camber and there we go and yeah we're gonna need to lift that up a little bit yeah <laughs> yeah, this is a bit of a silly one, admittedly. It's a bit odd. It's very weird. We've got a pickup truck, we've got the overseer style, and then something we probably shouldn't really do with this. But I was curious to see how it would look. And I feel like the problem might be, actually, this car's a little small. I feel like this look might have been a bit better on this one. But let's move on to the second build, then. And let's see if there's any differences in the parts. So the front bumpers aren't really anything different. So I'm just going to go for ball bar number two. Rear bumper is exactly the same. So I'm going to go for the rear guard. Grill is the same as well. So, well, we can't really see it with this. So, I don't know, maybe the vertical. We have the overseer hood again that we've had before. This all seems to be the same sort of stuff. This time though, I'm going to go for the custom wide body fender flares. Which I think actually would have been much better on this one. Yeah, look at how much more wheel fitting those flares are compared to these. That would have absolutely been the better option. Do you know what? I'm going to redeem myself with this one because I think it's going to be funny to stance it with these double wheel setups at the back. So for this one, I am actually going to use this, but we're going to make it more of an off-roader. And we will use the utilitarian plating this time. No options for pickups on this version, though. Good, okay, just the light bar then. And we'll go for the tail light guard as well. On the wheels, straight into the off-road section. We've got some nice ones here. I'm thinking something like the heavy duty steely is gonna look quite nice. On the paints, I'm gonna go for worn. See if we get something nice and I don't want it to look too flashy. I want this to look used. And I mean, this green's probably the one that makes the most sense, but that is what it spawned in and I try to want to change it from what it spawned as so maybe we'll just consider this like an africa core one and do this in like honey beige or something like that i think that looks pretty good and on the secondary color we're going to keep it white on the roof actually quickly just looking through these car variations very cool color combos some of these very nice to see some different things on the roof as well especially this one with the brown and beige I think that looks pretty cool. So let's increase the dirt levels. Let's make this look like a proper off-roader. There we go. Actually, with this color, it really doesn't show that much. Mostly on the wheels and the bars at the back. Extra on this one is just going to be that spare wheel, which I do want to keep. So now what I want to do is just make these wheels a little bit bigger, a little bit chunkier. And then we'll bring them out just a bit front and rear. Really drag that out, make it proper wide. Oh, that looks very good. And I don't think we really need to change the height at all. I think that's absolutely perfect. And so there we have our second build. And I think actually this looks very nice. I definitely I want to retry the stance thing, which presumably it will allow us to do with the 6x6. But I do like how that 4x4 regular off-roader looks. And it seems like this has the same sort of parts as well. This time I'm going to go for the bull bar, and on the rear it's the same as well, I'm going to keep it stock. Grills are exactly the same, it looks like it has the same parts throughout. This time I'm going to go back to the overseer fascia though, and the overseer hood as well, just because I kind of want to go for the- Oh! We don't have this option! 
On this one. Oh, okay then. <laughs> So much for my redemption. Part of me kind of saw that coming just because of this would be kind of weird with this style arch. Okay, we'll do a bonus build at the end where I try to stance out one of these. So for this one, I'm going to make this all nice and fancy then. I'm going to go for the overseer bumper on the rear and the overseer bumper on the front and go for the utilitarian plating, but no roof rack and no covers as well on the lights. We don't really need those. Interior color actually can't be changed, which is good to know. So I'm going to go for a light smoke tint on this one just because the front also gets tinted here. It does make it look a little bit odd. Do you have a gap in that window though? Oh dear. The extra at the back of the wheel, I'm not going to include. I'm just going to keep that out. And paints, well, it's an overseer. It's a 6x6. Six six. I've got to obviously do it in chrome, right? And make that chrome roof as well. I mean, come on. This is the sort of thing you'd see around Dubai. You've got to expect it to be chrome wrapped. And in fact, I'm going to get rid of the utilitarian plating because it doesn't really suit that. And for the wheels, I'm going to go for these. I wanted to go for something that's a little bit... It's tasteless, it doesn't really match with everything, but this is just the vibe I'm going for. I'm going for that sort of Dubai, clout chasing, nouveau rich, oil rich, crazy look that is basically just gaudy, loads of money thrown at it without any real consideration for taste. And so all I really need to do here is probably just lower it slightly. Lower it on the back and lower it on the front and do you know what? I think that's it. 